hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you haven't already done so make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the notification button so today's video i am going to be collaborating i see hair on aliexpress and they sent me this beautiful wig and you also get this nice eyelash that they put in the package and also a leaflet telling you what kind of hair textures they have available also you get a wig cap now this wig is a mongolian water wave in a 26 inch it is a 13 by 4 lace frontal it is a brown swiss lace and it comes with these four combs to secure the wig even more and also an adjustable elastic band the hairline comes pre-plucked but i'm still going to go ahead and pluck it even more now to get started i'm going to go ahead and bleach the knots of this wig so i'm going to reverse the wig and put it on a mannequin head the bleach i'm going to be using is a true zone 40 percent developer and the true zone blue bleach now I'm gonna be mixing this and I'm only using one scoop because I don't need to mix a lot so I'm gonna use a little bit of the developer and also just mix this in a bowl make sure the mixing is a little bit of a thick consistent because the last thing you want if it's too water is going to be seeping through the lace and that could also bleach the hair knot once you're done applying the bleach make sure you take it off the mannequin head and this way it will stop the bleach from coming onto the hair so we are going to be leaving this for almost approximately 30 minutes or less the shine shampoo I'm going to be using today to wash the hair off is a black owned business shampoo and this is by Bice Hour. I'll link everything down below in the description box. Once the wig has been washed we are going to be detangling the hair and then now I'm going to be using a tweezer just to tweeze the hairline and also customize the frontal up to my liking. So I'm just going to go ahead and tweeze, tweeze, tweeze. I'm going to be tweezing the crown more, the top, the middle part of it because that part always has the most hair. The time and the Then I'm gonna go ahead and tweeze it even some more because I hate when the hairline is a little bit too thick. Moving on, I'm going to be using this got to be spray and I'm going to be spraying it onto the frontal and this way it's going to be securing the tint that I'm about to apply onto the frontal. Then I'm using this airbrush tan spray. This is a tanning spray that people use on their legs. So I'm shaking it really well. And then do not spray this super close to the lace. Make sure you give it such a huge distance before spraying it on. This way is going to be tinting the lace, looking like my exact skin color. This is such an amazing technique that I learned from someone on YouTube, can't even remember who. And then I'm gonna be using this a blow dryer to just dry it out. Now I'm gonna adjust the elastic band and this way it's also gonna help the wig uh, tighten up excellently well. So I'm applying this wig on and oh my god, look at that lace. I feel like the spray tan is so amazing. It fits my skin color excellently. And yo, you guys, look at this hairline. Look at the parting. That looks exactly like my skin color. Now, this hair can be styled in various ways. You can part it anyhow that you want. The side parts aren't that long. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. It's not super long, you know, the parting, but the middle part is quite long. This is how the back looks like. It is not a full frontal, so you do have some tracks. This hair can be styled in various ways. You can have it up, you can have it down, side, center, and all parts, and that's what I love about it. As you can see, I am completely feeling myself. Now, to secure and install the wig, I'm only going to be using the Got To Be Spray Glue because I wasn't willing to put any gum paste or anything that's gonna make it last for long as I was supposed to take this hair off as it's my birthday and I wanted to slay a different wig but anyway I'm going to be using this got to be spray and I'm going to be securing the wig so I'm just pushing it down like so Paper, gone and won't be found. And then I'm gonna use a blow dryer to heat it up and secure it even more the blow dryer just actually helps it dry faster and then to cut off the lace, I'm just going to go ahead and cut two sides of it. Then I'm going to use the scissors and cut it in a zigzag motion. When I get to my ears, if it's super long, I always make sure that I cut the lace so it fits perfectly around my ears. So if the lace happens to come off a little bit, just always make sure you go back to your got to be spray and spray it even more. Now I'm going to use the elastic band to melt the wig because it is very important after securing your wig that you tie it so that the hair could melt into your skin and blend well. Just like this one. You guys, I am so loving this hair so far. 
I am only giving my honest and 100% review on this hair. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not lying to you guys. I wanna be completely honest with you guys and so far so good. Now, moving on, I'm gonna be using this Care Care wax stick. I really love this wax stick, so I'm gonna link my Amazon shop. After applying it, I'm gonna use a hot comb and then I'm gonna manipulate this hair and style it to the perfection, you guys. And Now for my sideburns, I'm going to be cutting it so it's a little bit shorter. Ooh, we are not. And then I'm going to have a center part for this wig. Again, you can do any part of your choice, but I am going to be going ahead and sling this wig in a center part. So to style and make sure that the center part is flat, I'm going to apply the wax stick again and also I'm going to take the hot comb and press it on so that it could be as flat as possible. I'm gonna apply some powder onto the parting and this way it could look just like my skin. So I'm just in and look at this hair, it's so full, so bushy. It is 180 density. You can have different option of density. I'm gonna use some water and conditioner and spray it onto the hair. Curly hair needs a lot of maintenance. So I'm gonna part the hair in the middle, section it, then I'm gonna style the right hand side first applying some water and making sure that it's being detangled. You can brush through after spraying some water. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use this hair mousse. It's by Shockwave, but this is the Stronghold mousse. Now I'm gonna apply the Stronghold mousse onto the hair all over. You can apply as much as you want, but this is just going to help revive and also bring the texture of these curls, which is so needed. I'm also going to use the mousse to apply a little bit of baby hair, but I'm not going to be cutting my baby hair this time. I just want to swave and sway this hair back into the frontal. Room is filled with and look at this. This is the side with product and the other side is without product. So it just shows you how important it is to put some products onto your hair. Some people like to rock their hair natural and some people just like the wet look and I am so into this wet look. Now let's go ahead and style the other part. So I'm just applying some mousse to my sideburn and then I'm gonna take out some more baby hair in the center. And And this one I'm going to be cutting short. Then I'm going to be adding some powder and fixing up that beautiful glamorous face. And voila, look at that. So that was such a bomb install. Easy peasy styling of this hair. This IC hair on AliExpress super affordable super amazing and i'm so loving it so far the hair is very full it's so fluttery i love the curl pattern again this is a mongolian water wave i will link every single detail down below so you guys can go ahead and check their website out and if you're also looking for a hair vendor hair seller i think i see here is one that i would recommend on aliexpress feels like something's watching me Thank you very much for watching you guys and I will see you on my next video and I hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to leave your comments and also thumbs up to this video. Thank you.